So, Mr. Sun. Mr. Sun. Sun. <laughs> All right. So, let me uh, get these questions up. So, my son has been using Tinker for a few years now. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. And I wanted to get a first hand, a first hand take or uh, some experience uh, from an experienced user on just how to use the app. Because I get I get loads of questions about kids coding apps. And, you know, I, I know that you've done quite a lot in Tinker and you you always ask if you can go in it after you've done your work. So although you're learning with it, it's, it's the app that you use to for entertainment as well, isn't it? So, um, again, this is one of the paid apps and he's had it for a while and he's always in there doing stuff. So these questions are designed to not only highlight his personal experience, but also provide valuable insight to other parents and children who are considering using Tinker to get their kids into coding. So what is your favorite thing about using Tinker? Well, it's how you can pl publish it and then and then see how how much likes your your projects are getting, and how and how many people have seen your projects. Mm. Why does that? Why is that something that you like? Like, what does that do for you? Well, really, all all of the published projects end up end up in the community. Okay. And. And pe and people can play can play or, or can play or use your project, and then if they like it, they press the heart button, and then it appears on your screen in your put in your published project section. Okay, so you get to see your most popular app. So you make something, and you like the fact that once you share it with other children, they can play with it and interact with it, and then they actually let you know. This was cool. I like this, and then you know, you know what you could and do. Then I know. I I I should just make more things. more things like that. Like things making a se a season two of coding animations. Okay, I see. All right. So, uh, can you show us a project that you're really proud of? I know the iPad's probably locked. So let me unlock it for you. Okay. So, one second. A project that you're really proud of, and yeah, just explain explain to me the process of you know how you made it and what you learned so well, all kinds of projects i've been making really i'm looking for one of my favorites to see now hmm. so what are, what are you scrolling for are these are things you've all the things that you've made yeah okay some of them I haven't published yet. Still testing them to see if to see if they're good enough to go to go. Is this the one you're most proud of? Well, not well. I'm just checking. This one, this one was one I've edit. I edited. I edited from from one of the tutorials. Okay, what's one of the ones that have gotten some likes on them? Have you got well, let's any? Let's see, published. I can see well, quite a few views. That one's got 1.4 thousand views on it. Wow. Yeah. In total, I have 25 likes and and 23,000. 23k of people who've seen it. Wow. That's yeah. cool. So what's, what's one of your favourite published ones then? One of my favourite published ones is this one. It's supposed to be a boss battle, but it doesn't really, but it doesn't really do anything when when you don't go to go to the center of of your of of the wed part before before it, before it goes soup. <laughs> so you, what do you need to do to make it do something? You need to. You've got some more coding to do, don't you? Can you show me the coding aspect? What you did. Well, the code on it says on start when you press this button, it, it that part that part gets to work, and then it sends the message to rotation style left or. Sorry, right. your hands in the way, baby. Could you? Yeah. So to rotation style left or right. Yeah. The second from the second from the top. Okay. And then there's a forever loop. Point towards touch location where your finger touches. Uh -huh. Then it moves. 
then it moves 10 pixels and then and then changes, changes. its course do meets time that's how it that's how it looks like it's running oh i see and, and then if it's on the and then if on edge bounce okay so it doesn't go fly flying out of the screen and what what have you learned from tinker from using tinker well it's, well it's that when you're coding you can make like everything hmm. yeah okay and another question what was the hardest thing to learn in tinker and how did you overcome it i remember one time we were doing uh it wasn't one of the games or we were doing something and i think you said something about loop doing a loop or something i can't yeah. remember what it was yeah the forever loop i was talking about okay so like what would you say is the hardest thing because as you're building your your games and your apps you're having to well, figure out one of my the hardest things was was the physics okay I'll explain how i uh, how i overcame it was that was that i kept i kept i kept trying and trying but then i know but but then where was it so but what i didn't notice was that somewhere over here that you have to first get the start physics on and then get this and if you want anti-gravity then you can set then you can do set gravity to like zero like minus five. Oh, okay for anti-gravity you're yeah. saying okay like minus something okay and what these things along the side this is reminding me of secondary school. Have you touched it on any of those? This, this, this. Yeah, well, do you know what yeah, those? It shows all the different topics. I haven't found found out found out about about these okay. ones yet yet, but the pen makes it makes it do its way. Okay, cool. I'm do um. So I'm would you still working out? Yeah, I was gonna say. Now. So would you say these ones are a bit more advanced? Is that pi? Yeah. These ones are. I can see math. There's a lot of math to to do so so would you say because you're you're eight well you're going to be eight in a few days now yeah. um would you say that tinker you'll be able to use tinker for quite a while as you get older because there are some more advanced concepts that you've not yet yeah you've got there's there's still some growing into it to do because i think you started when you was about maybe six okay. i'm not sure uh let me see if there's any other questions is there a coding game or challenge you really love and why i think mm -hmm. these are mainly things that tinkers already what it comes with is there well, anything it's one of these well these ones are one of the tutorials and those are and those are those ones i i love all right can you show me it yeah so so i go to here and then it shows and then it shows you the steps of do of doing it okay yeah all of this and then it shows you what it should look like okay and then, and then it does try your code ah. i added a few more snow snowflakes to make it look a bit more complex okay that's cool yeah and then i added tilt left to do a screenshot okay oh yeah i saw that actually you showed me um okay so how do you use your cre creativity in tinker i think i know it already because I, i've seen the things that you've built you really like art so how do you use your creativity i don't want to put words into your mouth but well really i i made a i made one where it moves where it moves it's a paper and then uh -huh. it bounces around but it's doing it on random oh, okay i thought it was going to draw a rectangle but it's going to go to the edges of the yeah, screen but it has a little resistance of being of making it at the end oh the okay so it doesn't okay i see that's cool see? all right so have you learned about any cool coding languages do you know any coding languages have we moved on to that hmm. specifically i haven't been i don't i don't really know about any of those coding languages like python the only ones i know right now are word Oh, word block. Oh, using the blocks. Okay, so yeah, the next thing would be, blocks. um, as you get more confident with the blocks, transitioning yeah. to and Pi then Python, and then Python and the and the other stuff stuff with all that HTTPS or something like that. <laughs> You've got HTML, but there's so many different like JavaScript. Yeah, <laughs> all of that stuff. And it 
there's another Tinker, you know. It's uh, it's called Tinker.com, which you find on Safari. Okay, and that has all the other languages. Yeah. Okay. Which I'll move. Which, which I'll we'll move, move to. to. Probably okay. Soon, really. All right, and I think we're wrapping up. Let me see if you if you could add something new to Tinker, what would it be, and why? Well, something like. Like and like animate this. It it already does does that with normal characters. But if but if you could but if you could draw your own character on Tinker, well you can. Mm. But then but then you could add one. Of, but then you could add one of these and but but. But if you could add one of these animate blocks to it, and it would work just like how it how it, it does in... with one with one of those figures. Okay. Then yeah. it would be super cool. That would be cool. If I if I if I was the one who made Tinker, then I would probably add that. Okay. This is a this one's a bit different. How does coding with Tinker make you feel? Well, it make it makes me feel feel like I'm going to be like a robotics and. And engineer when I grow up, go, or go into space. The okay. thought of it feels great, really. Okay. And why should other kids try out Tinker, according to you? In your personal opinion, why should other kids try Tinker? Or should they? I think you're, you've, you've already given a glowing review of it, so why... This is not sponsored, by the way. This is just... A mayor uses this all the time, and because parents are always asking, and I recommend it, I wanted to get more into his head as to why why am I recommending this? Why am I seeing him on it all the time? Why am I recommending it? And now I'm starting to understand why. So why do you think other kids should jump on Tinker? Because look because look at all the stuff you can all, all the stuff you can make. Once you've understand it understand it all, it's like you can make your own your own apps inside an app. Okay. <laughs> once, once you know all of this. All right, son. Well, watch this space because Mr. Amir is coming up in the coding and robotics game. I'm always surprised. I'm so proud of all the things that you do and come up with on your own. So I'll be watching you closely, of course. <laughs> and look out for more reviews from Mr. Amir. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>